Hello, beautiful people. What's up? Ooh, dang. I need some water. <laughs> it's Saturday. All day is Saturday. And it has been so perfect today. And I would not accept anything else for the rest of the day. Nothing less. Did you hear me? Nothing less. It's what, 259 right now? I am just sitting here. I just got back to the house and I wanted some fresh air. So I didn't want the AC on. I didn't want the heat on because it's hot. So I opened the doors, I opened the windows and letting some fresh air in. You know, and I I got these I have issues. I have issues and major concerns because um I don't do bugs. I don't do lizards. You know, and, and they were like, if the lizard get in the house, let it stay in the house. What the Sam Hill of Beans I'm going to let a lizard stay in my house for? What the? Mm. Why? For what? And they were like, well, it'll grab anything in there. If it's an answer, they answer anything. I'm like, it better not be nothing in here. Because if it is, naturally going to be gone. And God forbid if it's a spider somewhere in here, you ain't got to worry about me. N no. You can have the whole house. I, I, bye. Bye. But anyway, what I came on here for was uh, service this morning because um, I have services on Saturday instead of Sunday to allow uh, the members to go and, and fellowship and visit and, you know, do whatever they want to do with somebody else, family members or what, you know, some someone else. And today I was speaking about El Elyon which is the God most high and just started thinking about, you know, in the stillness of time, just sitting still or, or finding yourself in a holding pattern. Just like sometimes when you're on a plane and you have to stay in a holding pattern because you can't land yet, or it's not clear for you to take off yet, you know, or either you're, you're up and you're literally having just to sit just to sit and it can be so taxing and sometimes that sitting seems like it is taking forever to complete but you know what that sitting time does you so much good even though you don't even though you don't see it even though you don't realize it it's doing you so much good because it's teaching you patience it's teaching you how to wait it's teaching you how to calm your happy self down it's yeah it's teaching you you know because I, I just, I just, I just, it's teaching you how to calm yourself down calm yourself down guess what if you can't do it right this minute why are you stressing if you can't make if you can't change it why are you freaking out breathe woosah mm. Woosa. Let it out. Chill. It's going to be all right. It's, trust me, it's going to be all right. And guess what? If you get to wherever that is that you need to go to and all hell is broken up, broken loose, guess what? It's still all right. Because there may have been something that needed to come to the surface. There may have been something that needed to be dealt with and addressed. So that that place or that person would be right and there may have been something that needed to be broken off of you and you didn't have the sense that god gave you to break it off and when i say you i'm talking to myself too because i've been there been there you know how your mama say birds of a feather flock together you know uh guilt by association and all this other stuff that we didn't like this we didn't like we didn't want to hear that and we, we could not be doing any of the things that these people are doing. Or we may be the ringleader of doing some of the things that the people were doing. Depending on where you stood. But you know, when you look at your life, you look at what you've been through, you look at how you've come out of it, you may not have all the things that you want to have. But you have an abundance of peace. You may not even have all the money that you want. But all your bills paid. 
things being debts being canceled around you. So it's still taking place. You may not be able to put aside what you want to put aside, but then you turn around and some of the things that you wanted to have put aside to save for, somebody turn around and they place it in your hands. So you're still getting those things that you wanted. You're still, because somewhere in your life, you have lined up. Your thinker, feeler, and chooser have been in proper alignment. Your posture has been in proper alignment. Your heart has been in proper alignment to receive those very things that you put out to God, that you put out into the universe, that you've released into the atmosphere, and it is coming back to you because you begin to call it back because the seeds that you placed in the ground are bearing good, 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 good fruit, a harvest of good fruit. So much so that you have so much that you have to share. But this time, you're not going to be stupid. We're not going to be crazy. This time, we are giving as we are led to give. Because sometimes, every time you turn around, you get something and you give to the same people. And then they turn around and do you the same way. But now hold that. You're not giving it because you're looking for something in return. But dang, be appreciative. Tell somebody thank you. You know, do something. Er, 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 now and then, er, now and then, say hey, thank you. Hey, dog, cat, rat, thank you. <laughs> you know, it's just a D. Now, y'all, y'all say like she is losing. I am not losing my mind. I'm not. I'm not. I am so. Oh, y'all don't understand how happy I am. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how happy I am. I'm counting the days down till I hear that gavel say, Woo, divorced. Hallelujah. Yes, I am counting the days down. I don't have that many days. Thank you, Jesus. Then I'm going to be free. And I'm going to be free indeed. I'm already free. But legally, on a piece of paper, I'm going to be free. I wish him nothing but the best. Oh, yes. I wish him nothing but the best. My baby boy, I didn't give birth to him, but that's my child. My baby boy, I wish, I pray for him. God cover him because he needed dealing with that daddy of his. You know, but <laughs> I don't have to deal with it no more. I ain't going to deal with it no more. And guess what? Through this happy process, people say, you going to get married again? No I'm, not, no, I'm not going to get married again. Because if I say I'm going to get married again, that means I'm looking for, for my marriage to fail. But am I going to be married? Absolutely. I am a wife by nature. God created me to be a wife. I know that hands down. I love being a wife. Did you hear me? I absolutely love being a wife. But I just won't be taken, taken advantage of. And you can't handle me any kind of way because you can't mishandle me because I'm valuable and I know my value and I know my worth. That's why I said the God most high that has taken us through some things. And it seems like this ain't right. But if you get over through the turbulence, get through the reeling and the rocking, and you get over into that area where you're getting ready to coast in to go in for your landing. Mm. And the landing is going to be mighty, mighty sweet. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to tell y'all. Let me let, me, let me let you in on the, seat, on the secret. Whenever we have service, after service, I don't know. God be, God be messing with me. Holy Spirit had me drunk as cool to brown. I am so drunk right now, but I mean everything I'm saying, y'all. And if it, if I do like I messed around and did a couple weeks ago, I was in the emergency room, and I didn't even know I was being admitted to the hospital. Hey, y'all, I didn't even know I had done a recording. I did a live rolling down the hall. That ain't seen nothing I ain't no business saying. Ooh, what's in you gonna come out of you? Just be happy. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs>